car that all the quarterbacks drive, isn't it? What up? How are you guys? Super Cup Bondi here in the brand new Chevy Corvette Stingray. band-aids off with each throw down of the foot I couldn't even get this car from Chevrolet you guys it is in such high demand so my friends at Superior Car Rental here in Dubai actually lent this to me for this review so a massive thank you to you guys the link to them is in the description below right let me show you around okay as you can see look part of the roof comes off in the coupe so you can actually pull this off and around here is where it fits here we go all right so you just slot the roof here in the boot and if you have this roof on you guys this is actually quite a big boot look at this for a mid-engine supercar all of this space look at that that's cool so if you want the roof off though, that pretty much takes up all the space you've got here in the boot, but kind of worth it because it looks super cool with the top off. All right, now you pop that down, back into place like that. One of the main differences, you guys, with the new Chevy Corvette is they've moved the engine from the front of the car to now here in the back. This is now a mid-engined muscle car so it's like a supercar looking muscle car which i actually really think is very cool it's one of the last naturally aspirated engines we're going to see for a while you guys because everyone's of course moving to turbocharged engines right so this because it's like an american muscle car right we have to expect the naturally aspirated engine so i'm kind of excited about that v8 naturally aspirated and it pumps out about 490 horsepower you can get an upgrade package and that will give you a little bit more torque and five more horsepower so still under the 500 horsepower mark so you've got a supercar looking muscle car which i really like but it's still less power than most supercars but the price is insane it starts from sixty thousand dollars now it depends which market you're in what you can actually grab this car for sixty thousand dollars i actually don't know anyone who's actually got it for that price here in this market if you would like the new chevy corvette you're going to be paying about hundred and twenty thousand dollars that is double the recommended retail price in the States. And in the UK, it's also so much more expensive than in the States. Even at $120,000, you guys, you're getting like quite a lot of power and something that looks freaking cool. You've actually got soft clothes in the boot. So you push this down and then it'll just take it all the rest of the way, which I really like. You've got a cool Stingray here for the Corvette Stingray. And up here, what they've done is they've integrated the Corvette logo in lots of different places around the car. So as this kind of fades into the glass, you've got the Corvette logo. What do you think of the look? I'm, I'm, I actually quite like it. When I first saw it, I was like, yeah, hell yeah, this is awesome. Like this actually looks like a supercar. I'm actually really impressed by the look. If we open up the front, you've also got a little boot space in the front. So look here, we're just in the boot with that button. Or there's a secret little button down here, you guys right here and you just feel for that right there you push this and the front pops um not sure why but <laughs> hey we like secret buttons now let's turn her on and have a look at what the headlights do when you turn the car on so it starts blinking in orange and then lights up here i quite like the design of the headlights as well i think that's quite cool and then what you can actually do from the key is start her up so you just press this twice and there's so much to show you inside guys look you've got the steam right here steam 
Bay logo. Full Bose surround sound speakers. And got these nice bucket seats. Now there are lots of different upgrades and packages you can get. This has quite a few of those upgrades. You've got those bucket seats here and you've got the engine upgrade as well. Just a bit more carbon fiber, just makes it look a little bit cooler. Got this really cool like cockpit design. I actually really like this. So you've got this long <laughs> line of buttons all the way down here. It's like a divider between you and your passenger. I actually really love the look of this, but the practicality is almost zero. Having all of these buttons so close together when you're driving is actually super distracting. So the top here is for you, your controls as a driver, and the bottom is the controls for the passenger. Uh, but it's not very I don't know it's just it's not very intuitive how would you know that for example right so you've got to kind of play around with it when you're driving and you're looking out the front windscreen this is so far away from you you have to kind of try and find where and what you're doing and it takes your eyes off the road so I, I think in practicality terms it's not great but look wise I really love that design this is quite cool here you guys look You've got a nice wireless charging area right here in between the passenger seats, which is great. And that actually holds super well. What is also super cool is this steering wheel. What do you guys reckon? Instead of it being round, it is now kind of square. Square top, square bottom, and then you kind of got these rounded edges here on the side. This is kind of more racy. They're going for that race car feel. Here, I really like this as well. These are your drive modes. You pull this up, and to put it in reverse you actually pull this one up it's like a little lamborghini reverse one that's what you have to do in a lamborghini so i really like that and this here is your mode selector you've got cup holders two cup holders and you've got a little bit of storage here in the middle as well i've got my labello uh, lip balm in this glove compartment you push this and look at what is right here this is for an sd card now what you do with that is you slot that in and this will actually record you going around the track. Now it's recording not just your lap times, but it's actually using the front camera on the car to actually record what you see as you're driving around the track. So you can pull that SD card out, pop it in your computer at home and actually look at how you did around the track. You can choose what is overlaid as you drive around. So for example, you drive around on the track and this will all record. What you can also do is you turn this into a dash cam. So it actually records everything that is happening in front of you. So for example, if you get into a crash, you can use that footage for insurance purposes. It's also got a rear view camera here, which is cool. Onto things I don't quite like about this car. I find these bucket seats super uncomfortable. Like I, I'm squished in here. I really am. I'm like half of my leg is on this side panel. And I just think if you're any bigger than I am, and the guys in my team have been driving this around as well, and they think it's super uncomfortable. So I'm surprised by that. The other thing, just a small thing, is these panels coming out here. They're way too far away from your natural hand position. So if I want to click on the indicator, I have to reach up and forward. And it's just not that natural. I feel like it should be down here somewhere. I enjoy the drive, but it's not a supercar drive. And that's fine, it's not a supercar. But now that it's kind of redesigned and restyled to look like a supercar, that's why I'm kind of comparing it that way, if you know what I mean. You get some nice gurgles and pops when you shift down. Did you hear that? But it doesn't happen like when you're actually driving at faster speeds. For the price, you guys, it's fast, you know? This is a fast car. But they say it can do a zero to a hundred in around three seconds. This does not feel three seconds to me. This is the car that all the quarterbacks drive, isn't it? Alright, that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed. 
me personally, I really enjoy the car. I like a mid-engine sports car. So for me, I'm loving the new look of the Corvette. What do you guys reckon? Do you prefer the old look or the new look? Let me know your thoughts. Pop them in the comment section down below. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click the notifications button right now. I love to have you guys with me. All right, love you. I think I'm out. Bye, bye.